Aerial surveys of steam systems provide a cost-effective method for early detection of developing steam system failures. Deteriorated insulation, condensate, and steam leaks can be readily identified. This video provides a brief overview of the inspection process. Here, we are flying over a college campus at 500 feet of altitude. At this altitude, the thermal imager will resolve 4 inches on the ground. The image in each video frame covers an area of 212 by 159 feet. The infrared imager captures all thermal data between negative 40 and 248 degrees Fahrenheit. In this video we show a temperature range of 20 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Black is cold, white is hot. Increased temperatures are seen as brighter white tones. Of course actual temperatures can be taken at any location we wish. We are approaching a hot steam manhole. The heating is normal, but temperature measurements can be taken at all manholes to compare performance. We can see the line heading on a diagonal to the left from the manhole. The steam line has produced a small temperature increase on the ground surface. This is normal and allows us to now follow the steam line. The line approaches another set of manholes. We see some small hot spots that correspond to valve boxes. At one of the valve boxes, we can see a steam service heading into the adjacent building. The line then passes beneath a grassy area and becomes difficult to discern. This is normal and illustrates how surface conditions will impact radiant heat transfer and the apparent surface temperatures that are measured by the infrared camera. Surface condition changes can readily produce hot and cold spots and must be considered when evaluating steam line performance. The line next enters a large steam vault. One line exits to the right. Its temperature signature on the surface is barely discernible. The other line continues out the opposite side of the vault. As we continue to observe the main steam line, we see sharply higher surface temperatures over the entire length of the final line segment. The elevated and uneven temperatures suggest possible deteriorated insulation. Such deterioration could be due to a steam or condensate leak. Condensate leak is more likely due to the relatively low level of surface heating. However, the elevated temperatures could also be the result of shallower line depth. This will be considered during subsequent evaluation. A hot spot is present where the line enters a building. The hot spot is actually from a building vent fan and not related to steam line performance. Now, let's take a look at some still infrared images produced from the recorded video after the flight. These images will be used to gain some further insight into this suspected problem. Here is a black and white still infrared image of the suspected problem area. The main line that passes through the vault is 8 inch Rickwell. The line exiting the vault to the right is 4 inch direct buried. Typical ground temperature is measured to be 32.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface temperature of the main line before the vault is 33.4 degrees Fahrenheit, a less than 1 degree Fahrenheit rise above adjacent ground surface. The surface temperature of the direct buried line is 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit, slightly warmer than the main line. Assuming consistent depth, surface conditions, and line construction, we would expect surface temperatures over the steam line to increase no more than a couple of degrees Fahrenheit if the line is performing properly. Now, look at the line temperature at the upper left of the image. This is the hottest spot along the final line segment. The surface temperature is 44.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Fahrenheit above typical ground temperature. 
This is a significant temperature rise and reinforces our concern that a problem is present in this area. Next, we see a false color infrared image that highlights the highest surface temperature of this line segment. The false colors facilitate recognition of small temperature changes along the line. We see from the image that the highest line temperature is 13.3 degrees Fahrenheit above an adjacent paved surface. Finally, we can compare our present images with one acquired in a survey conducted three years ago. This image shows the same area contained in the prior image, but from a different viewing orientation. We find that the hottest spot is only 2.9 degrees Fahrenheit above the adjacent paved surface, rather than the 13.3 degrees Fahrenheit found in the present survey. From this comparison, we can conclude that deterioration has, in fact, occurred along this line segment and a leak is likely. Thank you for watching this video. We are confident that our Aerial Infrared Survey service will become an integral part of your system reliability, maintenance, and planning process. We look forward to hearing from you. Call us today to learn how we can help you maximize your STEAM system performance.